Now, the board chairman of the ARB Apex Bank, Dr. Tony Orban, has made a strong case for government to allow raw banks to keep statutory funds, which has become the sole responsibility of commercial banks over the years. According to him, the like just like the commercial banks, rural banks are well positioned to also handle the district assembly and the MPs common funds. Dr. Orban was speaking at the 20th anniversary of the annual national managers conference of the rural banks at Kuhu in Kutia in the eastern region. The conference brought together all chief executive officers and general managers of rural and community banks to deliberate on how successfully they can run their businesses in the face of COVID-19. It was under the theme Rural banking beyond the financial sector reforms and the COVID-19 pandemic. Dr. Aubin noted it was time for government to amend laws to include rural banks in administering statutory funds since they deal directly with their communities as against the high street banks. He stated that community and rural banks were competent and well-trained enough to administer those funds efficiently for the benefit of rural folks. Those of us in the rural areas, when they need something, they come to the rural bank. They are unable to go to commercial banks because the commercial bank must go to the headquarters in Accra. And in Accra, they don't remember uh, one time. They don't know the village of one time or something. So please, let us look at that. that you're now very close or you are you know, inching towards uh, the, 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 the high street bank. So you'll be expected to behave and to perform at the quality level of those banks. The paramount chief of Kuhu traditional area, Dasibre Ikuyamwa e Japan, who chaired the occasion, reiterated calls for a downward review of corporate income tax for rural banks from the current 25% to 15%. Corporate income tax went up from 8 to 25% in 2016. Dasibre Ikuyamwa e Japan says a reduction will boost the bank's investment rates and liquidity formation. The RCBs invest quite substantially in the local economy of the country. I know they have made several pleas and representations to the Bank of Ghana and the government to consider reducing their corporate income tax from 25% to 15%. I wish to add my voice and the endorsement of Nanano to this humble plea by the RCDs for the government through the governor, Dr. Addison, and the Ministry of Finance to consider reviewing the corporate income tax downwards 